For the given problem, we are required to draw the shear and moment diagram of the beam using the shear and moment equation of the beam. First step is to determine the external reaction or yung reaction sa point A at sa point C. Magtake tayo ng moment sa point C para makuha yung value ng reaction sa point A or pwede din naman na magtake tayo ng moment sa point A para makuha yung value ng reaction sa point C. Kahit alin doon yung gawin nyo is okay lang. By taking the summation of all moment at point C, taking into consideration that all clockwise rotation is positive, is equal to zero, magro-rotate yung RA sa point C ng clockwise kaya positive at yung moment arm niya ay 10. Counterclockwise naman yung magiging rotation ng uniformly distributed load at ng concentrated load. Unahin natin muna yung uniformly distributed load that was 10. Ang total length niya ay 10. Moment arm, yung distance ng moment arm ng uniformly distributed load ay nasa gitna. Kaya ang moment arm niya ay 5. Minus 80 at ang moment arm niya ay 8 is equal to 0. Ngayon sa equation na to, ang ano na lang ay ang value ng RA. By solving, the value of RA is equal to 114 kN. Para makuha yung value ng reaction sa point C, pwede tayong mag-moment sa point A or pwede din naman na gamitin na lang natin yung summation forces vertical is equal to 0. By taking the summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0, RA plus RC minus AT at kapag ginawa natin concentrated load, yung uniformly distributed load equal yan sa 10 kN per meter times length na 10 is equal to 0. Meron na tayong value ng RA na 114 kN kaya ang unknown na lang sa equation na to is yung value ng RC. Solving for the value of RC, the value of RC is equal to 66 kN. Sa beam na to, meron lang tayong dalawang segment dahil doon lang nagkaroon ng change in loading, segment AB and segment BC. Kunin natin muna yung shear and moment per segment AB. Magdino tayo ng distance x na applicable per segment AB, the value of shear at segment AB is equal to RA, pataas, 114 kN, minus yung pababang value that was 10 times x. So, ito na ngayon yung ating value ng shear equation sa segment AB. Next is yung moment equation at segment AB. Mag-moment lang tayo dun sa distance x. Lahat ng upward ay magpo-produce ng positive moment. 114 at yung distance or yung moment arm is x. Minus pababa, magpo-produce ng negative moment. 10 times distance x. Moment arm is equal to x over 2. Kaya yung value ng moment equation natin for segment AB is equal to 114x minus 10x squared over 2 or 5x squared. Next naman is maglagay tayo ng arbitrary distance x na applicable for segment BC. For segment BC, the value of shear for segment BC is equal to RA 114 pataas. Minus yung concentrated load na 80 kN. Minus yung uniformly distributed load na 10 pero at distance x lang. So, equal lang yun sa 10 multiplied by x. Kaya yung value ng shear natin for segment BC is 114 minus 80. That was 34 minus 10x. Next is yung moment for segment BC. Equal lang siya sa 114. Moment arm is at distance x. Minus yung concentrated load na 80 kN, yung moment arm niya is x minus 2. Minus yung uniformly distributed load na 10 times x at yung moment arm niya is x over 2. By simplifying, this will be 114x. I-distribute natin yung 80 sa x minus 2. That will be 80 times x plus 80 times 2 is 160. Minus 10x squared over 2 equal din yun sa negative 5x squared. So, 114x minus 80x is equal to 34x plus 160 minus 5x squared. And this is our moment equation for segment BC. 
Next naman is i-drawing natin yung shear and moment diagram using the shear and moment equation na nagawa natin for segment AB and segment BC. Mag-start muna tayo ng shear for segment AB. The shear equation for segment AB is 114 minus 10x. When the value of distance x is 0, the value of shear is equal to 114. But when the value of x is equal to 2, the value of shear is equal to 114 minus 10 times 2. That was 94. For segment PC, the shear equation is equal to 34 minus 10x. At distance x is equal to 2, dahil yung segment BC natin at distance 2 to 10, the value of shear is equal to 14 kN. But when the value of x is equal to 10, the value of shear is equal to negative 66 kN. Kapag renowing natin yung shear diagram, at distance x, the value of shear is 114. At distance 2, the value of shear is 94, so bumaba. Then next, at distance x, yung value ng shear ay naging 14. And at distance 10, the value of shear becomes negative 66. So ganito yung magiging itsura ng ating shear equation. Next naman ay drawing natin yung moment diagram using the moment equation. For segment AB, the moment equation is 114x minus 5x squared. At distance x is equal to 0, the value of moment is equal to 0. Kapag sinasadyote natin yung value ng x equation, yung makukuha natin value ng moment is 0. At distance x is equal to 2, the value of moment is equal to 208 kN. For segment BC, the moment equation is 34x plus 160 minus 5x squared. At distance x is equal to 2, the value of moment is also equal to 208 kN. At distance x is equal to 10, the value of moment is equal to 0. Dahil decreasing yung shear diagram, yung magiging itsura ng moment diagram is concave downward. For segment AB, decreasing kaya concave downward. For segment BC, decreasing din kaya concave downward. Take note, at distance where the value of shear is equal to 0, maximum naman yung value ng moment. Ngayon, para sa practice mo sa video na to, kunin mo yung value ng moment sa distance na kung saan 0 yung value ng shear.